Hey everybody, uh, glad to see you back. Uh, we are on video number 11 and in this uh, episode we're going to talk about uh, the air conditioning system on the electrical side of things. There's really not a whole lot to look at as a homeowner when it comes to electrical, but there are a few things you can do. Um, if you're outside looking at your air conditioner, typically you're going to see some type of outdoor unit sitting on some type of pad like this, okay? Um, I'm just going to quickly draw in our, our fins and there should be a fan at the top. You're going to see, you should see, what's called a disconnect on the wall and there should be a big conduit type of thing coming out and wiring in here. This should be or is going to be 220 volts AC. So let's put a big exclamation point on that. Don't get in there if you don't know what you're doing. If you do, and hopefully after this video, you will understand what's going on and feel a little bit more comfortable with maybe seeing what's going on. Um, <coughs> If you turn, we've been through all the other videos on how your thermostats work and, and uh, on breaker panels. If you haven't, go back and look at those videos and then get back to this one and we'll, we'll uh, try to get your air conditioner fixed. But here's what we're going to look at. There's a couple of things that should be happening during a call for cooling. One is the indoor unit, the fan is running on the indoor unit. Okay, That's first and foremost the fan should be running. So you should hear airflow. The thermostat should be calling for set, turned down and set for cool below the set point. So if it's, uh, uh, if it's 85 in your house, anything below that, let's set the thermostat to 71 degrees. And this is Fahrenheit, obviously. Okay, so this is turned down. It's, it's, the, it's turned on for cooling and your fan is running and now nothing's happening out here. The first thing you need to do is look at your panel box or your breaker panel. Okay, you're going to be looking, remember when we talked about the breaker panel looks something like this? You should have a row of breakers here, a row of breakers here, and maybe like a main main switch here. Okay, there's going to be several breakers <coughs> in here and you should find one that's labeled maybe AC okay should be something like this AC or maybe on the cover of the panel there's a panel schedule and it'll say AC and it'll give you what number these are gonna um, be one three five so on these are gonna be two four six and so on and an AC is gonna be a double it's gonna be on two legs remember it has to draw off of both both legs so you're going to have a double. And here is a rough estimate. If you have a 3 ton unit, you're probably going to have a 30 amp breaker. And if you have a 4 ton, you're going to have a 40 amp breaker. Not all the time is that actually going to be accurate, but pretty close. If you got a 2 ton, you probably got a 20 amp, so on and so forth. 50 amp for a for a 5 ton. Okay? <coughs> This is only straight AC, not heat pump. But find that, make sure that, basically make sure all your breakers are on, your 220 breakers. That's the first place you want to look. Sometimes, you know, lightning strike or, you, you know, for whatever reason it trips. And a lot of, a lot of calls uh, in the springtime for a service technician is the breaker was off. Whether somebody shut it off the year before, which is something you should do. Uh, you should turn this on about 24 hours before you actually want to use your air conditioner. Uh, later videos, maybe I'll explain why. But uh, if you've checked your breaker, the breaker's on, you get out here to the unit and you say, okay, I, don't, I hear a little buzz, but I don't hear anything else. If you get real close, you should be able to hear, remember I talked about the contactor. There's a contactor in here. And when the 24 volts uh, comes in from the, out, from the indoor unit, it pulls in a little, uh, it energizes a coil, and then pulls in a set of contacts. And 
turns the air conditioner on. And that buzz you hear is the electrical magnetic force holding that together and you should be be able to hear a little hum. Well if you open this panel up you're going to expose let's open the panel up you're going to expose what should be maybe a black cover this will be a big black cover and you'll see like a t-handle thing here you can pull that out there may be fuses behind it, or maybe there's not. There, there's maybe there's uh, there's. I'm just giving you everything that you could possibly run into here. There could be a, uh, a a breaker. There could be a breaker in here that looks similar to this. Maybe that's off or tripped. Now, if you pull that disconnect out of there, this is. If you pull that disconnect, this black cover may come off, and you may expose two fuses right here. Okay. <clears throat> pull them fuses out, but before you do anything, you go back in and you turn this off right here at the, at the AC breaker. Then you can come out here, get your electrical meter out, and verify that you have zero voltage on this leg and this leg. You're going to check it there, and you're going to check it here as well. Okay? Okay. Now you have no, you've indicated, you've verified there's no power anywhere. You go ahead and take those out. And then you set your meter to either continuity or an ohms reading. You take that fuse, which is going to, an expanded version of that fuse is going to look something like this. It might say uh, 240 volt 20 amp. Okay. This will be a cardboard kind of looking thing in here. Cardboard or plastic should be uh, should be brass here and here. So you can take that and test it here and test it here. <coughs> if you get any continuity at all, your meter will go up. If you get nothing, you can also test your make sure you're on the right setting by touching the two leads together. Make sure it goes up. After you've verified that, then stick it to here and see if it goes up. If it goes up, your fuse is good. If you've got it set up like that and nothing, and your meter is staying at zero, <coughs> or staying down here, then your fuse is bad. And then change your fuses, put it back together, re-energize it, and you should be good to go. That's about the only thing there is, basically, without getting into the unit, which in later videos we'll talk about getting inside the unit and checking some things out there, but it's about all you can do from the exterior end of things to help uh, save a service call on your AC unit. But that's a basically how this works. I hope that helped. If, uh, if you have any questions and you want, need anything uh, explained in a little more detail, go ahead and shoot me a question. I'll try to respond with a, a video that will explain your question in its entirety. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, we're going to be on video number 12 on the next one. Um, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.